Okay, welcome back to video number eight. Uh, I think we're going to spend most of the time in the new addition. Uh, the renovation's really to a point where uh, we're ready to just get flooring and finishing touches, and then, uh, you know, we'll take everybody through there. So uh, behind me are just some of the windows, uh, you know, showing out in the light court. Also will be uh, preschool playground space. Um, so you can see the all the windows are here, which lets in all this light to our common space. Uh, and of course, out there, the exterior brick is on, as well as the Cereclad product uh, above. And some of that product has also gone around the entire exterior of the building. So out here in the courtyard, really uh, ready to put in the drainage and also get that rubber floor poured and, and install the playground equipment. So uh, we're moving forward in this direction. Okay, we're just going to walk through the uh, the kitchen space. You're going to see some of the equipment's been installed here. So uh, we're actually in the new part, but then we're actually going into uh, some of the renovated parts here as well. So this is where the building connects. So we're just going to walk through here. Um, this is where the students will be uh, coming through the food service line. So you can see some of the, uh, the kitchen equipment's installed. And of course, the students uh, will exit right out here uh, with their trays and head out into the commons. Uh, around the other side over here, um, you can see this is the, the side where um, we have a lot of sinks going on, but there's actually a three base sink there, um, a hand washing sink, a produce sink behind me. Um, so everything's up to code. Uh, and then we have a, uh, a tray return over here. Uh, and then behind me, uh, is kind of a tough shot here, but this is the, uh, the kitchen storage. So fridge freezers in the back over here. So, uh, kitchen's really getting close to being functional library right now. The, um, the architectural details are really starting to come out here in the, uh, the overall, uh, ceiling designs. Um, you can see over over here where this is really just a learning space that's set up. Um, that, that ceiling soffit is completely done, uh, just ready for uh, the finishers to come through. Um, over here, we'll just walk a little bit uh, over here. This is our uh, learning stairs. Um, you can see the, the ceiling detail, ceiling soffit is up, uh, and then they're starting to build uh, the, the learning stairs. And really, again, this is a spot where we want kids to just uh, relax and read uh, and get going on those things. Uh, behind us, um, you can see the, the windows are installed from the light court. Uh, again, just bringing that natural light into the library. Um, so uh, the library is starting to progress, and then we're, as we're getting a lot of the equipment out of here, then again, the, the finishers will come back in here and finish up the library. Standing in the third and fourth grade uh, collab zone, uh, which we're going to walk into in a little bit here, uh, but you can see over here, this is where all the cubbies are going to be. Uh, so in these uh, pockets, in these zones here, those uh, uh, wooden cubbies will be there. So students in third and fourth grade will come here in the morning, uh, put their coats, hats, gloves, book bags, things like that in here, and then they're ready to go to their classrooms on either side. Uh, but I also want to pay attention to the ceiling uh, detail uh, again, these are those architectural details that I was talking about that are really coming through. You can see the triangle soffits uh, that are above the, uh, the glass garage doors. Uh, and then this circle, and again, we're, these are geometric shapes, so they also serve a learning purpose in an elementary building. Uh, but this is going to be that collab zone uh, that we have mimicked on both sides of the building for third and fourth and first and second, uh, where this is going to be a, a prime learning destination. We're in a, a fourth grade classroom right now, and most of the classrooms, the, the paintings uh, pretty much complete you know they got to finish up the touch-ups and uh, kind of a final paint uh, the case works in things are, are moving very nicely in the classrooms now uh, we're really they're ready just for ceiling grid and also flooring so every classroom set up pretty much the same way uh, we have a teaching wall that's set up we have um, a lot of natural light uh, in the background um, you can see the ceiling grid is up in this room so it's just ready for you know light fixtures and ceiling grid and then we have storage in the back, which is shared. Um, and then we have casework over here. And again, waiting for just countertops and sink here. And then we have the glass garage door, um, you know, where this can be open or closed, depending on what's happening in instruction. And then again, this flows out directly into the collab zone. So we want to continue to encourage cooperative learning uh, and brainstorming in groups. Um, and uh, that's just uh, what we want to do. Standing in the uh, first and second collab space now, too, and you can I'll just point out briefly here, the ceiling soffit is, is similar, you know, going to be mimicked on the third and fourth grade end. Uh, they're they're uh, working on this one still. And, again, the uh, the cubby space is, is it, 
also mimicked from the third and fourth grade. So they'll have their cubbies in collab space. Uh, and if you remember, the first grade classrooms do double as a storm shelter. Uh, the storm shelter doors are uh, installed. They're at the very top. They're very heavy duty uh, and, and will be brought down in case of a tornado or severe weather threat. Um, but the ceiling soffit actually carries all the way through. So all of that will be hidden. Uh, you, you really won't know that they're there. Uh, so we just wanted to point out some of those things during uh, construction so everyone knows that that uh, we exists. We walked through the office space. Um, we're in the uh, kind of teacher work zone. Uh, again, a lot of the casework and, and copy machines and things like that will be uh, need to be installed in here. But a lot of painting is taking place in the office, uh, and a lot of finishes are going in. Uh, so, again, off to uh, my right-hand side here is the counselor's office directly uh, behind us over here is the conference room uh, and as we uh, continue walking is the principal's office and then uh, out here uh, again is kind of the main office main entry uh, again this is where rose will be uh, and then uh, uh, of course you know, visitors will come in through this door in the secured entry. In the gym here, um, we are starting to do some work in here now. There's a lot of work that's got to occur in here over this summer. Um, so a lot of the masonry work uh, and patching of the walls is taking place. We took out a lot of old HVAC equipment uh, out of this building. So we did have to patch a lot of the walls as we pan up here. If you remember, there was four large corner fans in all four corners of the gym. Uh, those have been taken out. Uh, masonry has been patched in and there's a lot of other places you, you can kind of see across the the gym here where the masonry patches have taken place so now that's getting ready uh, the walls are getting prepped for paint uh, so that's going to occur in June as well as new basketball goals and a sound system and then in July we have to have everything off the floor everything sealed up and ready to go because they're going to sand the floor down completely uh, and repaint the gym floor um, so you know come August 1st this gym is going to look gonna great. wrap up here in the uh, in the art room right now um, I did want to talk about the operable windows uh, that will be going in um, so that's set to start June 3rd so you should see in June all of the windows get finished with the operable windows there's a lot of second story windows uh, in the stem room uh, some of the exterior doors all of those openings are set to start here June 3rd and really be finished uh, starting into July um, so a lot of that will take place um, and then as far as timeline uh, we have some things that, that we're working on in regards to uh, electricity and our electrical scope, um, and, uh, and that's set to, uh, to get going as well. Uh, and then after we do that, we're really st now starting to get a little bit more optimistic about that September or October move-in date. Um, so once we do that, that's we're uh, going to get some more definitive dates out for everybody. Um, so I'm still waiting on some things, still waiting on some, uh, some figures in regards to timelines on that. Uh, but when we have those dates set, we're going to get them out to everybody as soon as possible.